Here I want to discuss the importance of data typing. Each variable has to be declared with its type. And that could be a double, an integer, a string, or some other more complex type. It could even be a button, for example, on a form. So here I've set up a problem. This is in the problem project. Now look at my code. What I'm trying to do here is create a total by taking num1 from num2. Those are two numbers. num1 is 1, num2 is 2. So I'm expecting the result to be 1. And then I'm setting a string, and I'm using sonnet num, and you'll see that's 53, plus x, which is 10. Then I call show results with these two variables, total and s, and I'm expecting those results to be shown in a message box. But because of my typing, the data types I've assigned, I've got a number of problems here. And you'll see that when I run the program. So the compiler stops first on this line. And it gives me this message, incompatible types, got double expected long int. Well, let's see what that means. So let's look at these two variables, num1 and num2, they're numbers but they're different types of numbers. num1 is a double, num2 is an integer. So I need to fix that because those are incompatible. So the simplest way is to change my double to an integer. So I change its type declaration. Let's see if that fixes it. No, still a problem. Got single expected long int. The problem here is that I'm still using this floating point notation and that's not a valid for an integer so let's make it a real integer a whole number try again okay so i've got further this time so the my two numbers num1 and num2 are okay now but then i hit this problem down here i set uh, s equals sonnet num plus x so let's see what the problem here is sonnet num is actually a string so you can see it's 53 between the string quotation markers up here. So what I need to do, if I'm going to use it in this way, is I need to change that to an integer. And of course I also need to change its type declaration. do that up here. So this entire list before the type here, separated by commas, are all typed to be the integer type. This leaves s as string. Let's see if that works. Still a problem. Yeah, so it's got a long int and it's expecting ANSI string. So what's the problem here? So I've set string equals, yeah, this is, I've done some arithmetic here. I've added sonnet num, which is indeed an integer, and x, which is also an integer, but I've assigned it to a string, and I can't do that. But remember, we've got some useful conversion routines. We've used this one many times before, int to str to convert an integer to a string. Let's see if that works. OK, so it's been successfully built. I'm expecting the results 1 and 63. Let's see if that's what I get. 1 and 63. OK, so that's fixed this program by taking care to use the correct types for all the variables. Typing in programming, in Pascal programming in particular, and in many other types of programming language, is fundamentally important. It may look irritating when you first come across it that you get compiler errors, but those compiler errors are saving you from problems which would otherwise happen when you run your program. If you try to do arithmetic on a string, or if you try to add or subtract incompatible data types, they can cause errors in your program. So look upon type checking 
as a safety net. It's something that's built into the compiler to save your program from doing things which would cause problems when you run it. Now, in Chapter 4 of the Little Book of Pascal, that's the e-book that accompanies this course, I begin with a problem. And the problem is to add 10 to Shakespeare's sonnet number 53. Now, that sounds like a silly, insoluble problem at first sight. But in fact, if you resolve the data types so that you're working with data types that are compatible, the problem can be addressed. And that's what I've done in this final sample program here. You'll find it in the code archive. But before you load it up, try and see if you can find your own solution. So here's my solution. I've taken, rather than the whole sonnet, I've just taken the first line of Shakespeare's Sonnet 53, which is, what is your substance, comma, whereof are you made? So to add 10 to that, I have two options. The line of text itself has the string data type. So if I add 10 to it, I can either add 10 as a string, that is the characters 1 and 0, and append those characters to the first line of the sonnet, and that's what the first button attempts to do here. Or I can convert the first line of the sonnet to a numerical value, and one way to do that is to calculate the length of the line, that is how many characters are in it, and convert that to an integer, and then add 10, the integer 10, to that value. Let's see that in action, compiling it. Once it's built, here's my running application. So first of all, I add the string 10 to the line, and it just appends 1 and 0, the characters 1 and 0, to the end of the string. Secondly, I add the integer 10, and this time I treat the line of text, the first line of the sonnet, as an integer. The integer is the length, the number of characters in that line, so, it has 44 characters, I add 10 to it, and the result is 54. So, the moral of that is that as long as the data types are compatible, you can use data from a string with an integer, or you can use an integer as a string. And the same goes for all other types that you'll encounter in your programs. You must be sure that when you try to do something with two values, those two values are compatible data types.